time, sir. Who How are you? Enough? Ew. Ew. Not long Those enough. Faces you make make me want to just. What do you want to do? Slingshot you. Slingshot, huh? What do you mean, what do I want to do? Weird. I'm gonna need help. These aren't paper ones. These are the heavy duty ones. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lupe just put up his um his window. What's up, fam? Camille here, and we are doing a collab with Lupe from Roadie Foodie. I'm Camilla. Okay, <laughs> see you later. Um, we I so a lot of you guys had been asking me. This is not a fun game right now. What do you mean? Can you speak a little louder? Can you just stop? Are you kidding me? Awesome. You are a child. Right, what did we get? What did we get? All right, so we went to Eastside Pockets. Eastside Pockets. We got a chicken shawarma wrap. Sh or chicken. Sh so it's a chicken kebab wrap, it's but it's technically like shawarma, and shawarma. there's falafel in it as well. Mm. And we did get a meat pie, which is also like, I don't know how they pronounce it over there, but Ooh. in my culture they call it lahmajoon. Lachmajun. Lachmajun, right. Lachmajun. You have to say with the. Lachmajun. Lachmajun. Like you're about to hawk up a furball. No, that's how I kiss. Lach. I go, oh, um, so that's what that is. But look at how these, these burritos. Really these, are, these are like burritos. Yeah, with... they're like burritos. The only thing I don't like about them is like they. Usually what they do is they twist it up and they put it right in the. Mm -hmm. And I don't like. I like a burrito where all the juice is kind of just. Throw the bomb. People mm. are probably like, shut up, Lupe, just eat. Come at you. Tell me I'm wrong. Something about this bread is just so good. Yeah. Mm. Oh, man. It's oozing everywhere. I kind of want to show you my little dip there. What did you get in here again? Where? Or what? Oh, you put, it, you put everything in there. It has the you works. Put everything. It has hot sauce, tabbouleh, yeah. yogurt sauce. Um, I never mix the tahini, meat, the meat with the um, falafel. With the falafel. Oh, chef's kiss is so good. There's like pickles in there, lettuce, tomato. It's bomb. Bomb. They're always so nice in there too. Mmm. I forgot to mention. The lady was so nice. She's like, I gave you baklava too. She's so nice. She's all the time. So cute. Thank you. Now, guys, this is how we're going to find mm. out if Camilla and I are good friends or not. She's like, oh, my God, what's the chat? What's going on? Did you bring me a drink? I purposely did not get you ah! one. Because I thought you were going to bring one because last time you brought, you got one. It's me being a brat. You're not. Oh, I literally thought about it. Too. I was like, he's going to get so, one. So, yeah. No wonder why you got here early. You didn't stop to go get your diet. Yeah. Listen, Camilla is horrible with time management, guys. I've got Seven him. minutes, it goes into 17. She says she's at a light. She's not. I literally looked at the light. I was at the next light. So technically, that's why I said, are you playing a technicality? Because <laughs> she was technically at a light, just not the light. I was the one right before it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These women out here, man. Lupe just knows me so These well. Women out here. You gotta, you gotta play the word game. Technicality game. It's just so good. It's big though. It's like, it's big as my head. It's really good. I've never had it like double like this. Mm. And it's nice because you get a little bit of both. You know, you get, Ooh. you get the crunch from your falafel, plus the seasoning and marinated chicken tender. Yeah. You know what they have there. What do they have? You can get it with, like, I think steak or burger, but I think they have that, that meat that we had last time. Like Do the, they really? Like oh, the they South have... berry steak thingy. What's it called? They have it differently over there, but it's very similar. It's called kufta over there. Say it again? Kufta. It's going to be a kufta. Kufta. Just a little Middle Eastern uh. girl enjoying a little formula. So, um, can I preface this with why we went with this place? So, because it is, let's see if I know Arabic here. I hope I say it right. What are you going to say? I don't I'm know what you're going to say. Bad say. Word. You ready? What word? I'm about to say it. Mm -hmm. Hassanem? 
Did I say that wrong? I said it wrong. I don't even know what you're trying to say. Oh, okay. Only I speak Arabic, guys. That's true. So the reason why we went here is because a roadie foodie fan who eventually came onto my page said you should show, after we did the um, Lupe Tries Persian food, said that we should try shawarma and other Middle Eastern foods. Yeah. So I figured this would be a great opportunity to do some distance food eating with Lupe. Can you call us again? Lahmajun. This guy, we had this at uh, Sonia's, remember? It was like the Armenian version. Mm -hmm. So when I called, there was a girl that definitely wasn't Middle Eastern that picked up. And I was trying to, I was telling her what it was and she's like, what is it? What is it? And eventually I was like, the meat pie. And she was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. How is it? A bomb. Bomb. It's meat and vegetables. Can't go wrong, right? Mm. Mm. Like tomato. It has meat, ground beef, like minced ground beef, a red pepper seasoning. Eastside Pie has been there forever, too. Ever since I've lived in Rhode Island, I don't know. Yeah. I've been going to it for years. I, that used to be my high school spot. You know, Thera Street, sick Friday night. You go to Thera Street. Camilla just running the streets. Hey, yo! This is my block, son. And little, us Middle Eastern people, we stick together. I'd be, I'd be at that place every Friday. That was before I even knew what Bajas was. I didn't even know if Bajas was there at the time. You know what I love, too, is... Um, I was eating it the other day, too. Mm -hmm. I can swim in, too. They have it in here. Is it in here? I think so. Not a lot, because I can't really taste it. Mm. There's so many other flavors so going on. Know what tuna is, basically. is it mashed garlic? Kind so, of? it's it's a gar yeah, it's a garlic that's grated. Uh, so and bad. they put it into, like, a... I they make it into it. a sauce. I've been just eating it with chips and, like, chips and salsa. I know. You got your Trader Joe's tomb. Mm -hmm. Trader Joe's style tomb. We're going to do this burrito style. How are you eating it? Oh, you know what makes me mad? When people eat this, but from the side. They kind of go at it like, look, why are you doing that? Just get it from the top. Do you get it from the side or from the top? Listen, my mouth is not that bad. <laughs> Fun fact. Fun fact. Camilla, fun fact. Their falafels are gluten free. It's literally just made of ch out of chickpeas. It's a good way of getting your vegetables in. I would eat vegetables if they were fried like this any day. Oh and they're fresh too. When you go in, mm -hmm. it's like kind of made to order. Yep. They were so busy. There was a line mm. outside to pick up your food orders because it's it's not a very big place. They only take in five people at a time. So there was a one. It's one of the few places that does this, too. I know. What's another place? There used to be one on Thayer Street. Uh, I mean, on Federal Hill, but they closed down. Yeah, there was a, there's a place called... Um, I don't know. Pickpockets, but they're down in Narragansett. Yeah. Or Gansett Wrap, something like that. I think in Providence, they're probably one of the only few that are known for this. There are some, like pizza places that do like yido wraps kind of thing there's like a lot of them that but just this camilla just pronounced it gyro i did not say gyro it's yido who's in that middle eastern card i lost it when you tried to say something in arabic and i had no idea what you're saying ha i don't even know what that is isn't that arabic for good i don't speak arabic my mom speaks Persian, uh, Farsi. Oh, I thought you spoke, I thought you spoke, uh, you were speaking Arabic with Philip. Farsi. Oh. Philip speaks Farsi? He knows, so certain words are in Farsi and Arabic. French, French and Spanish. Yeah, certain words yeah. like connect. So like he can, he can understand some of the things that I say. Mm. Yum. I'm going to try the meat pie real quick. The good thing I love about these two, I'm only halfway done. Is it two meals in one, guys? Mm hmm. This is great for leftovers. Let's watch Camilla eat the pie. I don't even know how to rewrap that, so I'm just going to leave it in between my legs. Ready? Guys, down, comment down below. Do you think that Camilla should drop me a drink or am yeah, I just being a brat? You're just being a brat. Yum. Yep. 
Yeah. Also, guys, Camilla's trying to get me to move to Hawaii. For a month! You guys think we should move to Hawaii? Me and Lupe are moving to Hawaii for a month. If we should move to Hawaii. Did you apply or no? The deadline's huh? the 15th. I need you to apply. Camilla wants me to apply. What is it? We'll talk about it in the video. It's uh, movers, movers, movers and, and shakas. So essentially the, the country of Hawaii. Country? Well, I'm sorry. It's a kingdom, but it's a state now. I'm yeah, sorry. It's I'm a, a state. It used to be a kingdom. Okay, that's fine. sensitive topic, but that's fine. back in the day. Yes, I'm sorry. The state of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Technically, she was at the second night. So, they, um, because they lost so much tourism, they're trying to get people that, kind of like us, that work from our phones. We just, we basically just need Wi-Fi. So, they're paying for, they're paying for return air, their round trip air Round fare. trip, yep. Uh, did you put in there only first class? Uh, I should have, huh? Business class, this body only goes business class. <laughs> And uh, the thing that I'm trying to figure out before, though, is because housing in Hawaii is... But it will make some great content, though. So good, it though! great content. Can you imagine me in a little hula thing? I, I, we could go to... Lu roast? We could go to luau's together, have pig roast Kalua pigs. We could learn how to surf together. Oh, my God, that would be so embarrassing. But we could learn how to surf. But the thing Excuse is, like, me. housing, guys, uh, the, the state of Hawaii is trying to work with different hotels that also were hit kind of hard during COVID um, yeah, and well. trying to give like subsidized housing to these like kind of like long-term tourists. I don't know what yeah. would be considered. Yeah, cause, so because they're looking for people anywhere from, you could actually do less than 30 days all the way up to multiple years. So they're opening it up to a wide range of people. Yeah. And I was looking at Airbnbs and like kind of like the cheapest that you can find, like the absolute cheapest is pretty much for like a one bedroom would be about 1400 1500 for a one bedroom. Bunk mates. We're about, we're about to get a bunk bed. I'm going to sleep on an air mattress. <laughs> can you give me a water bed? I'll sleep on the water. You can have the real bed. I'll have the water bed. It's like a, we're just going to get a camping equipment. But yeah, imagine <laughs> Imagine how many cool food places we would be able to try yeah, there I mean, though. That's, that's why I'm considering it because of all the bomb food that's probably over there. Mm -hmm. mm. Food trucks are everything down there, you know that. Mm. And the food trucks in Hawaii are phenomenal. This is getting bombed out because all the juices are going towards to the, the bottom. bottom. Oh my god. Mm hmm They're seeping. What they should do is make these, cut them in half after 10 minutes of making it, I'd buy this. Just the bottom half. Just the bottom? Excuse me, sir, can I have just the bottom half of your sandwich? And by the way, guys, I literally stole all of Camilla's hummus and sauce. Oh, yeah, you did, huh? Ask me if I put No, you're good. You're good. She didn't get me a drink, so. Are we even now? You had all my hummus, so no. we're even. I didn't get you a drink. So guys, comment down below. I'm gonna clean myself up. Should we go to Hawaii? Should we go to Hawaii? Do you you need to apply. For a month. The deadline's the fifteenth, oh. and then they do interviews. You bet. If I get an interview call back, I'm gonna be like, listen, I'm a two for one deal. Like you gotta get both of so, us. And another thing you have to do too, we're gonna mention this. What? If you sign up for the program, you have to like. Do like three hours or something like that community service they didn't i don't know if they said an exact amount but they want some form of community service to help the locals in the area so yeah, i was right. thinking animal shelter because the last time i was in hawaii i donated 250 dollars to the animal shelters because it's so sad to see how many animals are stuck there and it's really hard to bring them like up to this part of the u.s so the, you get a lot of like street dogs and dogs that they're just taking in. I think it was called Rainbow Animal Shelter. So we could go volunteer at the animal shelter. Speak up. Rainbow Animal Sanctuary, I think it's called. What it comes down to is housing. I know. Hold on, the food's like right here. You just <laughs> a beverage, Camilla. It would go down. Sorry. So guys, if anybody has any experience with um, Hawaii, I guess, mm -hmm. right? or li used to live down there, has traveled there, or has family or friends down there, comment down below. 
we're still trying to Camilla has already packed her bag. I'm ready to go. I'm I... that old person now that needs like, yeah, I'm down, but hold on. <laughs> hold on. I, that makes no sense considering how you literally drove co- cross country from California and you're like, let's just stop. Ooh, Rhode Island. Let's do it. Yeah, come on. Oh. So let's do it. Let's do it in Hawaii now. We could live on a freaking boat for all I care. Let's rent a boat and live on one of those. Live on a boat. <laughs> that would be great content. Even better. Yeah, I would throw you off the boat every single day. <laughs> this was yummy. I I'm gonna save the rest of this for later. Because you know the food is just gonna be super funky, 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 funky fresh. Funky fresh. Every single time, Roadie Foodie does Hawaii. Love it. I'm here for it. I ship it. I don't know. Ship it. Camilla's trying to ship me with me to Hawaii. Um, where did the other half of my thing go? Like, why can't, why is there not enough to cover right now? Okay, guys. Yeah, this was not enough. This is, this is usually when the videos. I'm done. so frustrated right now. She's so we amazing. love you guys so much. I need more information. I'm bringing Lupe to Hawaii. Like, share, and subscribe I to this I video. To the I will What's put. Today? today is the. 11th, 12th? 11th, I believe. So we have four days. Um, we filmed today, we're gonna post today, mm -hmm. and let's just make it, let's make it rain. Yeah, well, I'm gonna- I'm posting today. I'll, I'll end up posting today too, so we'll put each other's links yeah, we'll um, link. in the description. Video. I'll link you to Lupe's um, video. And until next time, guys, be well. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging Take out with me, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Shut up, Camilla! Shut up! Shut up, Camilla! <laughs> All right, I'm out.